We're all in our places with bright, shiny faces. Nice. Well, bright, shiny masks. <laughs> Let's um, go through the routine once through. This is for the relaxation. So find your Tai Chi stance, lift your head, drop your shoulders, open your fingers, round your hands, hum. Tip your tailbone a little bit, relax your buttock and let your knees bend in response and press the balls of your feet into the earth. And then put your heels together, shift to the right and step to the left. Doris, I'm mirror imaging you and pivot on the right and turn your palms to the back. And then bend forward, let your arms just drop parallel to your legs. And then slowly stand again and let your arms stay parallel to the ground to their level with your shoulders. Extend your fingers, relax your elbows, your shoulders and your wrists. Let your hands float up and then let them drop down like they're falling through water. Shift your weight to the right and turn to the right to hold the ball on the right. Shift your weight left and turn to the left to hold the ball on the left. And then part the wild horse's mane. Single whip. Wave hands like clouds. And back in the opposite direction. Step back and repulse the monkey. Brush knee and push. Fair lady works the shuttle. Grasping peacock's tail.
and close. Now we're gonna do the same thing all over again, but this time let's really try to complete each move before we move on to the next one. Really draw it out as much as you can so you're really at the end of that move before you start the next one. Yeah, I'm gonna face the other way. You're welcome. <laughs> I get used to this white wall in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, my own movie screen. I have to imagine what's on it though. Your heels together. Shift to the right, step to the left. Shift to the left and pivot on your right heel and turn your palms to the back. And then bend from your hips. Drop your weight down and rise up. Extend your hands, relax your elbows, relax your wrists, your shoulders. Let your hands float up and then just sink down to the water. Shift your weight right, turn to the right. Bring your right hand around to hold the ball. As soon as all your weight's there, remove your foot from the ground and then shift your weight to the left. Turn to the left, let your hands revolve around. Come back to center and when you're ready, lift your foot. And then shift your weight right, turn right. Come back around to the front, and when you're ready, lift your foot for a second. Set your foot down. Move your weight into that foot as you do. Part the wild horse's mane. Rotate your weight around. And let it come back to your back right foot. Imagine you're a pitcher of water and you have to hold the water level steady and even. Single whip. Remember to keep your head lifted and your body as relaxed as possible. Draw your weight is shifted for this return direction. As your trunk turns, you can feel your weight shifting to that foot to free up your other foot, leaving it empty to move out. Shift all your weight. Shift all your weight. And come back to hold the ball on the right, getting ready for step back and repulse the monkey. Keep your eye forward on your right hand as your weight shifts back, your arm arcs back. And as your arm reaches the top point, look back and turn both palms towards the sky. Keep your eye on your left hand as you shift your weight back. Keep your eye on your left hand, let your back arm swing up and when it's up, Gaze back at your right hand. Keep 
Keep your weight back on your left foot, getting ready for brush knee and push. And then just take a step out and rotate your trunk to the right. Now your weight is shifted to your right foot. Take a step to the left. And back to hold the ball on the left. Fair lady works the shuttles. Starts with hold the ball on the right. Goes into like part the wild horse's mane. Both hands are parallel. Keep your weight even on both feet. Make a window. Rotate around to the back. Let your left toe rise up. And then come back around to center. Grasping peacock's tail. Starts with part the wild horse's mane. Your weight's even on both feet. And then you shift it back. Turn to the left. Turn to the right, press your fingers into your forearm, cross them over, uncross. Sit back on your left foot and let your right toe rise up, pivot, rise it from the heel, and then press. This press is not overextended. It's just right within your center of balance. And close. Let's just stand and let the relaxation spread through our body all the way out to our Fine digits, all the way up into our brains. Feel the blood moving through you and the oxygen. Nice, I'd like to, um. Before we call it a day, I'd like to just practice a couple of the last movements. I'd like to start from um, brush knee and push, uh, fair lady with the shuttles and um, grasping peacock's tail and just do a cycle of those three twice around. So I'm gonna, um, I guess in honor of the people who are in the room with me now, which I think there's, you're equal in the room and on the Zoom right now, but um, I'm gonna do it with my back to you, okay? So we're gonna start with brush knee and push. We're gonna start by holding the ball on the right. So try to keep that relaxed feeling. Let's not stress about any of this at all, but. <sighs> so shift your weight to the right. So you'll be holding the ball on the right, but this time bring your hand up a little bit higher than when you hold the ball up to about your ear. And then step out with your left, turn your palm, your left palm over towards the ground and step out with your left foot as you rotate your trunk. This is not, don't lean too much or anything, just bring it right within that balance of your, where your body's center is. Continue to rotate around so you hold the ball on the left. Bring your hand up to about your ear. Turn your bottom palm over facing the ground and step out to the right. And again, don't overextend. And then come back to hold the ball on the right and get ready for fair lady works the shuttles. Keep your weight balanced on both feet. Make a window with your hands. Keep your weight balanced and turn until you can't turn anymore. Wherever point that is, it's fine. And then sit back on your right leg and let your left toe rise up into the air and turn just a little bit more if you're able to. And then pivot on that heel back to center again. 
And when you're ready, lift your right foot up and start out to Fair Lady Works the Shovels to the right. Keep your weight balanced on both feet. Feel that weight even. Turn. When you can't turn anymore, just sit back. You're going to have to bend your left knee a little bit and turn a little bit more. And then come back to center again. And then grasping Peacock's tail. Start the same way, like Fair Lady works the shuttles. Both hands come parallel, your weight's even. And as you sit back on your right leg, you rotate to the right, rotate to the left. Press forward. Press down and let your toe rise up, releasing that bubbling well. And then press. Move your weight back, turn left, turn right. Press into your forearm, cross and uncross. Come back onto your left leg, let your right toe rise up and press. Hold the ball on the right and then rotate to the right and close. And just take a 30 seconds or so to just feel your weight balancing and recentering and your breath, feel your breath. Nice. Let's call it a day, okay? <laughs>